Going is such like going is God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Receiving interception. End zone with 33 seconds. Hmm. 21 to 16. Now, if that don't say that's the, that's the difference in the game, I don't know what else will. I can remember this right here. They were they were inching close to scoring. Scoring range and um, we had to make a play. I feel like you 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 intercepted it like just, the way that you just hold like it. it. Uh, we had I feel to make like a play. It, it, it stuck. We had to make a play and uh, I can remember it, you know. Um, Vic put it up in the air. Um, I was covering Riley Cooper. Okay. Riley Cooper. I, I spotted the ball early. If I can spot the ball early, man, it's over. Like if I can spot the ball early, it is it's over. One of the hardest things as a DB to do is locate the ball when the lights is in your eyes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of players that when the lights hit your eyes, it blinds you. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it blinds you. Not so fast. You're in great position, but the lights blind you and Everybody like, oh man, he was in good, great position, but he didn't make a play on the ball. Nice. Cause I couldn't see it. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see it. So, so the advantage that the receiver had have at that point is that he's tracking the ball out of the quarterback hands, mm -hmm. so he'll never really lose it in the lot. Right. Because he see he sees it the whole time. The first thing we do is we play in them, and then yeah, later on we gotta snap our eyes, and, and soon we snap our eyes. You're looking at lights. Mm -hmm. So now the lights have blinded you. Yeah. You're like, man, I hope this ball don't land in this man's hands because I don't know where it's at. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't right. know where it's at. So, so when you see a lot of the corners, you know, a lot of people say, oh, they, they, they panic or they did this right here. They probably panic because they didn't know where the ball was. Right. They know they're in great position, but they're like, man, like, I can't see the ball. And a lot of the time, that's like really the battles that you have to face as, as a DB. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of people ask me, like, man, we, when you like to play, man, I say, man, I like 12 o'clock games. Why you like 12 o'clock games, mm -hmm. man? Because mm -hmm. I ain't got to worry about the lights, man. Mm -hmm. Like, I look up and I see the sun. Like, I can see everything. It's, it's, it's light outside. Right. But night games, man, um, I love the magnitude of them. Mm -hmm. I love the moment of them. Right. Like it, it is a challenge in itself too mm -hmm. at the DB position when you uh, cover receivers. Right. Those lights are bright. <laughs> when they say the bright lights, they mean they the mean bright, bright lights, light, and we got to deal with them. Yeah. So it's it's definitely uh, that's something a factor in the game. It's definitely a factor in the game. Trust me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You really gonna have me watching for real, for real now? Like, yeah. When they get ready to turn around, and, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm you know, slide down the list real quick. I got another one. Okay, okay, so okay. So we got Riley Cooper. I was covering Riley Cooper. Um, Vic put the ball in the air. I located it early. Located, located it early. And um, all I had to do was time my jump. All I had to do was time my jump. I can mm. remember time my jump perfect. Grabbing it. Um, being in the moment. Getting up off the ground. Running out the end zone. Yeah. Not realizing that I just should have stayed in the end zone, but I'm in a moment right, right. now. So I'm running out the end zone, and my teammates have to tell me, T, get God down. That. <laughs> get down. So I got down, my teammates got over top of me, game over. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. That was, that was a good moment. Excited. But they say, get down. Get down. <laughs> Game's over. So, yeah. Yes, indeed. Okay. So, which one I got right here? Because, you know. So this one right here, let's see what Ooh, we got. That one gave me chills right there to give it to you. So I right, so I want you to read the top. <laughs> they gave me chills. I just want you right, to know. So we got defensive player of the game. Mm. Myself. Yeah. Two tackles, two assists, one PBU, two interceptions, one for a touchdown. Packers 48, Falcons 21. This right here. And I think when we talk to the whole Packer community, I think after this game right here, they felt the same way that I felt. I'll talk about these two interceptions right here that I had um, in this game in general. Atlanta was the number one seed. Mm. Atlanta was the number one seed. 
we were the number six seed. We were the last seed to make it. We was nine and seven. Okay. We had to win our last two uh, regular season games to get into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. We had, um, I think we had the Giants and we had um, Chicago. Okay. And we had to beat those two teams to, to make it to the uh, playoffs. And obviously we did that. Obviously we did that. Um, Facts. Just talk about the, the Philadelphia game and now the Atlanta game. Played them early in the season, so I'll tell you a story about this game. Played them early in the season, they beat us. Last second field goal, kicked the field goal, time expired. Um, so they have been talking noise the rest of that season. So, yeah. Um, I think they had, you know, a couple guys like, oh man, those guys aren't, aren't that that good. You know, we dominated them the first time. Well, you say y'all dominated us, but the score was 16 to 13. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? If that's what you call mm -hmm. domination, all right, cool. Right. So, you know, they was t talking a lot it's of like noise. Mess. And, you know, as an organization, you keep up with those clippings. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you need a little fuel to the fire, shoot, we'll take it. Right. So, they added a little bit of fuel to the fire. And we went in the game confident anyway. We went into that game confident anyway. Um, we knew what we had on our team. We knew that we got hot at the right time, and we knew ain't nobody wanted to see us. We knew that. I don't know if they knew it, but, but we knew it. <laughs> <laughs> but we knew it. And, man, we went into that, that, that Georgia Dome uh, confident as ever. And it started off, it started off hot, man. They scored, we scored, mm -hmm. they scored again, we scored again. We both scored twice quickly. Um, after that, they kind of got on another drive. Mm -hmm. On that specific drive, um, I can go. I can. I mean, I can go off top of the head with it. Um, we're in cover two in this specific play. Um, I think they run four verticals. Now, four, four verticals, cover two, um, in the red zone, close to the red zone. Okay. Um, is actually a good call for the offense. Mm -hmm. Actually, a good call for the offense um, because most of the time you can't get that safety to play all four verticals. You know, um, he's gonna have to choose one or the other, okay. other eventually. Okay. Um, but I knew that. Comes down to your film studies. Mm -hmm. Comes down to the, at times the player has to make the call look good. Yeah. So um, I jammed my guy and I sunk underneath my receiver. Okay. You don't get anybody come to your area. You continue to sink with okay. that vertical. So I sunk with that vertical. Um, Obviously, Matt Ryan didn't um, make the decision fast enough, so he put a little bit of air under the ball. Mm -hmm. So he put air under the ball. When he put air under the ball, time. like I told you before, if I see the ball come out the quarterback hands, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> if I see the ball come out the quarterback hands, yeah, it's over. I saw the ball come out the quarterback hands. I, I, I had to do the same thing as uh, Philly. Just had to time my, my jump. Time, time I jump, um, the receiver slipped down while I was going up. I don't think it would have mattered anyway because the ball was in my vicinity. Yeah. You know, the ball was in my vicinity. Um, I would have went up and got it regardless. So I went up and got that interception. Took points off the board. Mm -hmm. um, our offense went down and scored. 21 to 14 now. Kicked the ball back off to them. I think maybe two minutes left. They, uh, they get a couple first downs. Okay. Um, they're close to field goal range, but not quite in field goal range. Okay. They need a few more yards. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. Yeah. My teammates know this. Our defensive coordinator know this. He calls the play to put me in a great position. Mm -hmm. We played um, cover two man in this right here. Okay. Cover two man. It came out quick though. It came out quick. Crazy part about that play, you go back and watch it. I wasn't even in the stance. I wasn't even ready. Mm. They snapped the ball. They snapped the ball. I was still talking to my safety. Ooh. But but the crazy part about it, what we was talking about was we knew what play he was running. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we was talking about. Yeah. So we talking about. He was like, yeah, they gonna they gonna do it. I was like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Huh? 
Oh. <laughs> oh. Just ran right to the outright because all they was looking was to get maybe five more yards. Mm -hmm. Five more yards. He ran the out route. Was right there on the out route. Matt threw the ball, undercut it, caught it, um, cut the ball back. Matt fell. All I saw was green after that. All I saw was green and touchdown. So now goes from 28 to 14. Mm -hmm. The half is over. This is before the half. So there's no more time left yeah. in the first half. And the Georgia Dome is pin quiet. <laughs> you can hear a pin drop in that boy. And at this point, at that point right there, I said, we are going to the Super Bowl. Yes. I think anybody else who experienced that game, um, I knew they knew the same thing. Mm -hmm. They knew the same thing. When, when we, at that point right there, we knew that we really shut the Georgia Dome down. And then our offense was getting the ball back, oh, yeah. coming out into the second half. a -Rod was hot, too. He was hot. They couldn't stop what he was doing. Came out, scored right away, 35, 14. <laughs> Ooh, we were like, like man, it's over. We knew it was we we knew it was over, man. It was nothing they can do to us. Like I said earlier, we we caught fire at the right time. Mm -hmm. Like truthfully, we probably had the most talented team in the league. Mm -hmm. So when we got hot, that's why I said teams was like, man, we don't want to play these boys right here. Y'all give us anybody else. Anybody else. But we was the number six seed. We had to go through everybody. Mm -hmm. We had to go through everybody. Um, and then we did that. And then, obviously, um, we won that game. I almost had three picks that game. Ooh. I almost had three picks that game. I'm always tell you tell the story. I almost had three picks. It was yeah. another one. Uh, Matt actually threw the ball. And I was undercutting the route. But the ball fell short and fell into the ground before I was able yeah. to get underneath it. I was Ooh. like, man, three picks in <laughs> one game? Like, that would have been crazy. Yeah. I already had three picks in the playoffs already. Right. So it was, truthfully, that was like three picks that meant the most mm -hmm. to me for sure. Right. It's not even close. Yeah, it was fun. That was fun year. I can do it. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, you know, <laughs> I got another one for you. Okay. You, look, look, you ain't got to move nowhere. I know you got a lot of balls <laughs> over there, but it's, it's cool. I'm going I'm to I'm stretch for you. Mm. NFC Championship. So, this was after the Atlanta game. After the Atlanta game, we had to play Chicago twice that year already. Um, they beat us the first time. We beat them the second time. That was to make it into the playoff. This is the team we beat to make it into the playoffs. Okay. So, um, so now, like I told you, like I am truthfully without any front. Man, we knew we would beat Chicago. <laughs> I don't know who it was. <laughs> don't even lie to you. No front. I'm going to tell you the thing about Chicago was that the thing that made it, made it tough with Chicago was that they their defense was good. Mm -hmm. So even though we we would move the ball on them and, and uh, move up and down the field on them and feel like we're dominating them, mm -hmm. they were good at keeping people out the end zone. Gotcha. So when you look up at the scoreboard, the score was always close. Mm -hmm. Like, man, we dominate these dudes. Like, what's up? Like, why we ain't got more points? Mm -hmm. So when we played Chicago, like, that was the only thing that we felt that we had to worry about, that we let a team stick around so much. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the game, they feel like they got a chance to win. Right. So with Chicago, that's the only thing that we really worry about, as you can look at the score, 21-14. to mm -hmm. And, you know, they didn't have that great of an offense. Um, but the defense was very good. Right. But at, the, at that time, we were like, man, hey, Rod Hot, man. Man, we finna kill Chicago. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> we wouldn't even worry, right. worry about the boys. Now, we was totally focused mm -hmm. because, you know, Obama was in the office. Okay, come on. We love Obama. Right. Love Obama. Um, but Obama made a statement. He was like, somebody asked Obama, and he was like, Obama, they was like, man, you going to the Super Bowl? 
He was like, oh yeah, man, you know, my Bears go to the Super Bowl, man. I'm, you know, I'm gonna go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. And you know, he'll, they'll play the Packers. So, you know what I'm saying? We like, man, hey, dog, that's our <laughs> Like, that's all you talking about the Bears. Like, you should say, whoever go, man, I'm going. Mm -hmm. So nonetheless, we was like, you know, we know a Barack, a Chicago guy anyway. Right. But it was like, man, you got to see the speech. Wood said it after the game, after we beat Chicago. And he was like, you know, he was like, man, the president don't, don't want to come see us. Well, we gonna go see him. <laughs> we gonna go see him. Man. We got a reason to you know go see him. We gonna go see him, though. So, mm -hmm. so like everything about that, that that game, that year. I mean, it was special. Yeah. You know, just the camaraderie we had, uh, the brotherhood that we had to develop, and just the skill and ability that we had on that team. It was deep as ever. Yes. Uh, it was. It was one of a kind. It was one of a kind year for sure. But these guys right here, if you want me to just outright be real with, like, no type of story behind it, man, we felt like we would beat Chicago no matter what. <laughs> 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 I'm Don't do it like that. Don't do it like that, T. Man, what'd you say? We like, was beat no matter him. what, we was beat, even we though was, they was a good team. They, yeah. was, they won a division that year, too. Mm -hmm. They won a division. Like, we was beating them, though. Yeah, we didn't care about none of that. We was beating them. We didn't care about none of, none of them teams right there. Now, they was all good teams. We knew that they, they was going to be like dog fights, but we ain't, we ain't care about none of them. Especially right. when we got to Chicago. We were like, man, this is the third time I'm playing these boys. Man, we finna, man, we finna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> we finna kill you. Okay. Okay. I gotta get up for this one, too. Yeah. I gotta get up for this one. Man, oh man. Woo wee. <laughs> Let's see what you got here. T. I know some Stiller fans. They probably gonna hate me for this one. I'm Stiller fan. I know some too, man. They out there too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been handing this one yeah, off to you. Yeah, I'm gonna sure. hand that one off to you. Mm -hmm. But uh, tell me about this one. So this one right here, man. Um, Super Bowl. Super Bowl game, um, week leading up to it, um, watch TV, and the only thing you hear is that um, you know, Pittsburgh Steelers has been there before, mm -hmm. Big Ben has been there before, you know, they've won championship, they have the experience, um, you know, they have the best defense. All of these things, um, and at that that particular year, we felt like we were the best defense. Right. Um, I think they was ranked number one. We was number two. Okay. Um, but we felt like we had the better players. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. felt like we had the better better players, the better playmakers on the defense. So when it came down to it, we felt like that we would make the plays. But we knew this was going to be a dog fight too. Um, you know the history behind Pittsburgh. Um, like you said, man, they got fans all over too. Uh, yes. You know a lot of Steeler fans. They was mad. But if you know the history behind, behind this organization, man, um, their organization has been built to win championships mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. You know, so we knew that. You know, we knew that it, it was going to be tough game. Right. I mean, I go back through their roster too, man. They were stacked too. Mm -hmm. It was stacked, man. I go back, you know, to the offense and, I mean, obviously you got Big Ben behind center, but right. this specific year, they had just drafted Antonio Brown and Emmanuel Sanders. Mm -hmm. So, you know, okay. you got these two guys. Um, Mike Wallace was the guy at the time. Heinz Ward was still there. Mm -hmm. They still had Antoine Randall. <laughs> he was still putting in work. And then you had Heat Miller at tight end. Okay. So you had all of these guys. Rashad Mendenhall at running back. He was he was doing his thing for him. Right. And um, and then you got the defense. Mm -hmm. That's what Pittsburgh is known for. Right, right. The defense. So now you got the Green Bay Packers coming. 
Got the Green Bay Packers coming in. We the youngest team in the league. Mm -hmm. 